As we mentioned, the CDC recently updated their quarantine guidance after receiving some backlash, but the policy still doesn't require a negative test result to end isolation. Brandon Lewis with the National Verify team explains what influenced the CDC's decision. When the coronavirus pandemic started nearly two years ago, the CDC advised those infected with COVID-19 to quarantine for 10 days, followed by a negative test. That isolation period is now down to five days, and the CDC's newly updated guidance does not require a negative test, although they provide information for people who have access to or want a test. When the CDC said a negative COVID-19 test isn't needed after isolation, people on social media were shocked to learn the reason. CDC Director Rochelle Walensky said testing at the end of quarantine is no longer needed because a PCR can stay positive for up to 12 weeks. So let's verify. Can a person test positive for COVID-19 on PCR tests for up to 12 weeks after infection? We went to these sources for an answer. The polymerase chain reaction, or PCR test, is a nasal swab that is sent to a lab for processing. Because it's more sensitive than antigen tests, it's more likely to accurately identify COVID-19 cases. Cleveland Clinic considers the PCR test the gold standard for diagnosing COVID-19. While the high sensitivity is reliable for first diagnosing people with COVID-19, it's far less reliable for determining if someone is still infectious with the virus. The University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center found that PCR tests can detect the virus up to three months after a person was first diagnosed with COVID-19. The global medical journal The Lancet published a study where 203 people who recovered from COVID-19 took a PCR test. Of the 203 people who were retested, five tested positive 85 to 105 days after they recovered from COVID-19. So we can verify, yes, a person can test positive for COVID-19 on PCR tests up to 12 weeks after infection. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis.